Hello and a warm welcome from me. This is day two of our Wooden Data Center Innovation Week and after yesterday's analysis of trends and um, yeah, uh, important uh, developments. Today we want to tackle the elephant in the room and we want to really show concrete solutions, stuff that will lower your uh, scope three emissions that are improving your supply chain carbon efficiency and that just help to to uh, to get where we all want to go as a as a business um, why why is this necessary this is not you know just for good measures or to show that you can create a, a wooden server rack uh, on on a wood base the the main driver behind this is that on the one hand, we have really limited time, actually not even six years, 11 months, but six years, four months until our CO2 budget is completely depleted. There is no carbon left to spend or to emit if we want to be able to stay in the Paris Agreement of 1.5 degrees. So one of the major uh, <laughs> emitters of CO2 is the usage of concrete and steel. And if we are able in the data center industry to reduce that and to use a material that has a much lower um, embodied carbon, like wood, this would be truly beneficial in terms of reaching our goals and avoiding not only climate crisis, but an actually human, humanitarian crisis. So we came up with a minimalistic uh, wooden server rack design that reduces 90%, 97% of the steel steel used. The only components left is the actual 19-inch rails, the connection point to the server, which you cannot uh, create as wood. That would mean not not feasible. Uh, but we are also in 2021, so the rack comes with integrated sensor integrated sensors for temperature, humidity and smoke. It is uh, featuring a robust wooden construction which is designed for high loads. How high the loads actually is is uh, under testing. We're testing the prototype as we speak. Um, you can modify the wooden construction to uh, make it fit your needs in terms of cabling and uh, airflow. Uh, the 19 inch version is ready and the 21 inch, the OCP variant is under development. This rack is also totally feasible for HPC workloads. I have a quick look going into the demo part and the, uh, the prototype part. You see here the different stages of development we were working able to work together with um, MakerCube. So this, I pull up this design because this actually looks a lot more uh, closer to the prototype we actually built with integrated connections between the wooden parts um, and the rails, you know, screwed into the, um, to the, to the wooden frame. Here's again the example that we also showed us a picture. This is coming with, uh, you know, servers included in there um, and a switch setup, you know, something like you would see traditionally in an HPC setup. What is missing here are the actual server rails. So this works in virtual reality. Um, and what you see here is that we modified it, that the prototype build is actually not uh, the one designed. We modified this for the production uh, tools we had available there, um, but the future production model will have, you know, an, a different type of wood, which also resulted in a different type of manufacturing the the uh, connectors in between, which makes it easier and more stable to 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 use this.
Okay, coming back to to the presentation. Um, why are we we building this? There's obviously we need to be the spark. We need to be the ones showing that this is actually feasible and this is working. You see this massive amount of companies that have very capable uh, rack designs, um, but they're all steel-based. And Schneider Electric has, uh, you know, addressed the Scope 3 issue. They are looking into it, but I believe a lot of people are not really knowing where to start and I'm j we just are presenting here the kickoff point um, in terms of m more sustainable materials. So thank you. Um, hope this was, uh, was something new, was something that you w weren't expecting. Um, we'll keep you updated on our testing results and we'll, we'll take the first orders from now. So. Uh, reach out, talk to me if you need anything, and uh, goodbye for now.